something wrong with it right before I deliver it. And it'll be a done deal. This type of, so, we're going to leave that right there. And uh, later this evening, I will tell her saying fuck that. And it'll be a done deal. This type of repair is the worst nightmare you'll ever have. Um, it seems that every job I do, I don't know why this is, I find something wrong with it right before I deliver it. It's bullshit. I don't know if that's a curse that I have or what the problem is, but I mean, it's right before it's delivery time. It's like, look what I just found. Okay, so we're going to go like this. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to do that, and then I just did that. Do you see right there? See what I just did? Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to cut out of this video. I'm going to show you. And here's a recent example of right before delivery. So, this is where... I'm going to go ahead and explain this to all of the Supreme Court judges that watch YouTube videos. The delivery guy shows up to my shop. We went over the car with a fine tooth comb. When I say fine tooth comb, I was videotaping from the minute he pulled up to my shop to this moment here. The reason I am walking up Okay, you can see I'm outside looking at the car. That means I can see the vehicle from way back here. I can see that car way back here. And when I was way back here, I noticed the hood was open. I specifically told him, do not open the hood. You don't need to open the doors. You don't need to open the trunk. Nothing needs to be done. Deliver the car just like it is. I rolled the window down for you. The car doesn't run. You can hook it up from the bottom, blah, blah, blah. I had to go over to my house. I had a gutter guy at my house, and he wanted to talk to me before this scene right here, before this scene, I specifically told numbnut Russian driver, do not touch the car. Wait for me till I get back. He went ahead and opened the hood and shut the hood and did other various things to the car. I started this clip at this point because I didn't want to put the whole 45 minute video in this video. Does that make sense? So I was giving you an example what happens after you spend years and years and years restoring a vehicle and then bam, right at the end, something happens. So, you see me walk up, there's the driver. He looks up under the car. All he's gotta do is hook his chain under the car. He decides he's gonna open the hood. Now at that point, did we see his hand on the hood? Did we see his hand? Did we see his hand? No, we didn't. He pushed down on the hood to open the hood. Does that make any sense? He pushed down to open. That's what the most common thing is on these old classic cars is people push down, push down, push down to open the hood. Why he had to get inside and lean into the engine compartment and do everything else he had to do, I don't know. So we see that he did open the hood. We're going to go ahead and move forward. He shuts the hood. This is where I walk in. Actually, he's pushing the car. This is where I walk in. I can see, you can see the front end of the car is out. It's sticking out. I walk up from my house is way over here. I'm walking up and I see that the hood has been open. Let's keep moving on here. Because now I am in YouTube court. Because we got pile of shit YouTube viewers out there that think they know more about it than I do. So let's continue 
with my judge, jury, and conviction. And if you can't see it, because the sun's shining in, tough shit. So you see that we're waiting around and we're waiting, and then here comes my friend Pete. I can see from a distance, let me explain again, that the hood's been open. And before we go any further, judge, jury, conviction, let me go ahead and explain this. If you're a carpenter and you build houses, when you walk into somebody's house, in your mind, subconsciously, you're looking at the trim work. You're looking at the baseboards. You're looking at the sheetrock. You're looking at the paint because that's what you do for a living and that's what you notice. When I am walking by a classic car, subconsciously, I am looking at the car. I am looking at the quality of the paint, the bodywork, the body lines, because that's what I do for a living. If you clean toilets for a living, you walk around and look at piece of people's asses to see if there's shit stains on them subconsciously because you're a jerk. So as I walked up to the vehicle from way back here, I noticed the hood was open. I noticed that. There I am. Look at that. I'm looking at the hood. I noticed the hood was open, so I'm looking where he would open the hood. And when I walked up, if you look close, the light is shining down. It is shining down. You can see dents and ripples on it. This is where I'm cussing him out. And of course, he's looking at it like I'm a dumbass and uh, I didn't do anything to your car and I didn't open your hood. So on and on and on, we got this little section here cut. Now watch what I'm going to do. Okay, watch this. I'm going to go like that. I just forward, fast forwarded it. And then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it some more. And I tried to explain to everybody what happened here. That's what I was doing. I explained that the guy dented the hood. So this is what I'm going to do. We just got back to fixing the car right here, see? This is where the video end. That's where that part ended, where I was trying to explain to people, bad luck will always occur no matter where you're at. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, because that's what I feel right now. But we're going to take that out. And you can laugh your ass off and do LOL and all this other shit. So I'm going to go like this. And then we're going to hit that. Now watch what happens down here. Are you ready? Watch this. I'm going to right click this. Watch this. I'm going to do you a Sammy Salami edit guy. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to delete that out. Then I'm going to pull this back. Okay, I'm going to come over here to my video content. I'm going to flap that in there. Watch what I do. Okay, watch this. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the volume on. Let's go ahead and turn the volume up so we can hear it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go like that. I don't know if that's a curse that I have or what the problem is. But, I mean, it's right before it's delivery time. It's like, look what I just found. So then we just cut that whole scene out, and I'm going to explain to you the whole deal because you're probably looking at it going, what is he talking about? What's going on? What, what's this all about? Well, I'm going to tell you what it's about. So now what I've just done is I have re-edited the whole video. And the editing's kind of fucked up there, so we're going to go ahead and fix that because I don't, I like to be uh, nice and precise. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that found word in there, make it right. 
Okay, almost there. A little bit more, my friend Pete. Because I'm a perfectionist. I like to make sure shit's done right. Okay, here we go. Now let's see if it works right. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, there you go. I found a flaw in the video and I fixed it. Let's go ahead and do this now. Been approximately seven hours. Okay, now we're going to keep that video. I'm going to go ahead and X out here and I'm going to save that. So now I'm going to go ahead and explain the situation to you. YouTube censors every video that runs across their platform. At first, until this video, until I read the comments on this video, I didn't believe in that. I didn't believe in that. I was against it. I, I have the feeling if you got something to say, you should be able to say it. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and change my mind. I'm going to tell you right now, YouTube has every single right to censor whatever they want because they own this platform. And if they don't like what you're saying, they can delete your video, demonetize your video, close your channel down, do whatever they want to do. I'm going to tell you what my friend Pete's going to do from this minute on. I'm going to start censoring my videos. I am sick and tired of the YouTube viewer fucking bullshit when all I am doing is making videos to help you out. From now on, if I see any comments that are going to piss me off, I will delete the comment. I'm going to tell you that right now. Another thing that I'm going to do is in the YouTube program, if you are a YouTube creator, which I have been for 13 years, inside your account, there is a section called censorship. That means you can put phrases in there. You can put words and uh asterisks and all kinds of shit that you don't want to see in comments. And if those show up when you are printing a comment out, it will not let you comment. Now, I didn't believe in that crap. I thought it was bullshit. But I am telling you now, I'm getting to the point where I don't even want to make videos anymore because there's more hateful, destructive, piece of shit people out there than there is honest people. There were comments that were left on that video. I took the video down that said, Pete's a liar. Pete's a piece of shit. I thought he was an honest guy. He's not honest. He's blaming a poor, innocent guy for denting a hood. I watched that video 29 times. I didn't see him dent the hood. Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. This will make you feel really good. Actually, the only people that have put their handprints on that vehicle in the last eight years is me and Minnie. That's the only people that has touched that fucking piece of shit fucking Mustang that I want out of my fucking shop. Every time I turn around, something's wrong with this fucking thing. I'll tell you the truth what happened. Here you go. You ready? Because this will make you really happy. Then you can leave a comment and say, oh, I knew Pete was an asshole. I knew he was a piece of shit. Now he finally admits it. I'll tell you what happened. Minnie was washing the car. She opened the hood. And when she slammed it down, she dented the hood. She's the one that did it. And I diabolically planned, this is what I planned. I planned that I will find a uh, carrier for this guy to bring it to New Jersey. And when the carrier guy gets here, I'll film the whole thing and I'll make up this diabolical story that the carrier dented the hood so I can fix the hood for free. It took me a week to fix the fuck up on the fucking hood for free. The owner didn't pay me. The carrier guy didn't pay me. Nobody paid me nothing. I fixed it for free. 
But he didn't do it. Many did. Many's the one that did it. There, there's the story. There's the truth. And if you believe that, you're a stupid ass punk. Now, I am going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you right now. I am fed up to here making these fucking videos. I don't like making YouTube videos anymore. I don't give a shit about making videos anymore. I definitely don't like live videos because of this right here. Even though you, the viewer, loves it. But I will tell you this. If I continue to make videos, I am going to get straight to the point. I'm not going to show you any more fucking mistakes that I make or anybody else on my property. You will only see how to do this, how to do that. This is the way to fucking do it. You can blame all the fucking Supreme Court YouTube fucking viewers for this action happening. If you come on here and give me any shit, I will block you. I am going into the censorship section of my account and I am going to start adding all this crap to it that I don't want to see in comments. Nobody is going to treat me like I am a fucking criminal or a fucking liar or dishonest when I have been in business for 43 fucking years and all I do is make a fucking living over here. I am not rich. Pete is a stand-up guy. Yeah, I fucking am. Why leave someone at your shop without super business, especially some... Uh, some you just met. Okay, Finch. He was here to pick a car up to take to New Jersey. Do you want me to tell him, hey, buddy, I got to go 50 feet away from you, and I got to talk to this gutter guy. I want you to take your truck and get off of my property, and then when I come back, sit in your truck till I come back, and when I come back, you can go ahead and back up, and we'll continue. Is that what I should tell him, Finch? First of all, I'm never going to have a stroke, okay? So people need to quit saying that. Second of all, I'm in very good health, all right? I ride my bicycle uh, 18 miles a day every day. Uh, do I need to go ahead and explain anything else to anybody out there? Go ahead and ask me a fucking question. Let's see if I can do that. I don't want to play my fucking guitar, Paul J. Come on. I'm, I'm looking at the comments. I don't see anybody asking anything. Exactly. Nothing. Now, I hate liars. I don't like liars. I don't like people that cheat. I don't like um, scumbags that, that rip other people off uh, for, to, to benefit for themselves. And anything and all that I do on my videos is the honest truth. So I have just re-edited that video. I will go ahead and... Uh, make an explanation because everybody's going to, now everybody's going to say, hey, what did he take that video down for? Oh, huh, I wonder why he took that video down. I just watched that video. Where that, the guy, he, he blamed that guy for taking that hood and denting it. That's why he took it down because he, he did it. He did it, not the guy. He did it. So now he's going to fix the video and he's going to do this and he's going to do that. You know what? I'm going to tell you all something and you listen close. This fucking social media has gotten to you. You people are social media fanatics. You don't know how to have a real fucking life. You don't know how to go to the park and take a walk. You don't know how to wipe your own ass. You don't know how to cook a fucking hamburger. You don't know how to do anything unless you get on social media and watch a video or fucking ask somebody on social media, which is not your fucking friend. 
Facebook has ruined society, people. Facebook friends, I'm going to get on there. I've been talking to Bob for six years. He'll tell me the truth. You don't even know Bob. You've never even seen a picture of him. You don't know who the fuck this guy Bob is. For all you know, it's a girl. And vice versa. I'm probably one of the only honest fucking assholes out there that will literally talk to you and help you out. And I don't answer questions on Facebook, bitch. I don't have Messenger. I have my phone number and my address and my fucking website on every fucking video that I make. Because I'm a real person. But according to the uh, YouTube Supreme Court, I'm just a piece of shit. I'm a liar. I am a, a blamer. I'm blaming other people for my mistakes. I'm going to tell you again, I fixed that fucking hood for free. Didn't charge anybody nothing. But now the free shit is over. The car is in my paint booth and I am not touching the car anymore. I am not putting my handprints on it. It will sit in the paint booth until the owner gets an 18 wheeler out here to load it up. And I will film that too. I will film that so you can see it and leave a comment about how I was standing in the wrong position while he was uh, loading it up and, and you should have been standing over there and not there and uh, you put your hand on the trunk but you said you weren't ever going to touch it again so you're a liar. I'll go ahead and do that just for you so you, the internet stupid ass that doesn't have a life can leave a comment. And I'm sure somebody on here is leaving a stupid comment now because I'm not paying attention. But I will definitely warn you this. From day one today, I will be censorshipping my fucking videos and I will be, I will be deleting people from my channel. I don't need the bullshit. I don't need the harassment. I don't need the fucking stress. Because I am here making videos for you. I unsubscribed too many channels because I realized I'm watching some lame actors. Well, good. I'm not going to be called a fucking actor because I'm not. I am not an actor. Everything you see going on around here is the honest fucking truth. We don't portray acting. I'm going to tell you about acting. Do you see that fucking thing right there? Do you see that? That thing right there. That Etzel thing, here's what acting's all about, okay? I made that, I made that while I was acting. While I was acting for Discovery Channel. That's right. The production company talked me in to cutting up one of my junkyard cars to make an art piece, all right, for acting. It was an acting scene. I was making that for somebody. They were buying it from me. But we never saw the guy buy it. We never saw him buy it. Because guess what? I decided to give it to Chris, the tattoo guy, for all the hard work he did. But Pete, you need the money to pay your bills. No, Chris, I don't. I would rather you have it because you put all your hard work into it. Take it with you to hang it up. I love you, brother tattoo guy Chris. Do that for me. Forget the guy that I sold it to. There, I just went through the acting scene of that. Right there. That. That's acting. Is it at the tattoo shop? Do you see it sitting at the tattoo shop? I didn't know my shop was a tattoo. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm lying. I actually do tattoos. Here, look. See the tattoo chair over there? Right there. Look, there's a tattoo machine over there on the table. Right there. That's a tattoo machine. I sit in that red chair while the customer sits over here and I take my tattoo machine and I reach way over here to give him a tattoo. 
I just gave five people a tattoo yesterday in that chair while I was sitting in this red chair. Liar! Acting is something totally different than making a real YouTube video to enhance your imagination to come out and leave shithole comments of why I am uh, 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 an untrustworthy guy that, that uh, fucks everybody around. If anybody out there is watching this that has actually been to my shop and has met me in person, leave a comment and tell them exactly what kind of person I am. Can you do that? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open a Patreon account. Why not? Everybody else on YouTube has one. Why not my friend Pete? I'm going to go ahead and open a Patreon account. I ain't going to show you shit. Okay? The only time you're going to see something worth seeing is if you fucking pay me. I want your fucking money, bitch. I'm going to start putting my PayPal account down. I'm going to go get me a P.O. box number. You can start sending me shit in the mail because I fucking deserve it. What I don't deserve is to put up with your fucking bullshit because you hide behind a fucking, fucking computer screen or a cell phone and have no life at all. So you're the one that's the worthless piece of shit, not me. Sean's Garage asks, what's the plan today? Uh, well, maybe I don't want to tell you what my plan is. I might be lying to you. I don't want to show you what I'm going to do. You might say that I fucked this lady around when I painted her fender for her yesterday because I didn't do it right. So don't worry what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, Foo's garage, Foo Man Poo says, are you okay today? Foo's worried about you. No, I'm not okay. All right. I've been making videos for 13 years. Um, if I have a mistake or I, uh, uh, do something wrong, I show people what's going on and, and I will take the blame, but I am sick and tired of all these worthless piece of shit people out there. So I will start censoring my videos. It has come to that. All right. It has come to that. I'm repeating myself now and I'm not going to continue to repeat myself because YouTube is actually censoring this video. And they are going to limit the AdSense on this because I said, fuck. I really like the way that uh, YouTube commenters get on here and, and, you know, they know everything in the world. They just know everything. They know it all. Everything and anything they, they want to say, they know it. They've been here. They've done it. Um, but when you get on their YouTube channel, they ain't got shit. They ain't got nothing. Uh, yeah. S uh, subscribe six weeks ago. Uh, what's your username? Username 648KW1267Z. Um, no, my name's Dan the, Dan the, 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 the peace sucker man. Or, or, uh, Handbag, uh, handbag, juicy Lucy. Anybody that uses anything but their real name. Okay. Now here's a good example. We got Godfather Customs burning. Now that's a, that's a, that's a good name. Why? Because he's promoting his channel and he's telling you what his real name is. But when you got a name on there that says, Handbag Juicy Lucy or Dan Likes Pee Pee or some uh, user 6K5 I don't even pay attention to you because you're a moron. You're a stupid ass idiot. YouTube is what you make up out of it. Yeah, and I do a lot of making, Mike. I make a lot of shit for YouTube. I am a, what can I say, uh, uh, a grandfathered in uh, uh, um, creator um, uh, fucking guy that has made thousands. I got over 6,000 fucking videos on the internet. 
So yeah, YouTube is what you make of it. Not what people make for you. I think that's what you mean. And if you, and I'm going to tell you something else. Listen real close. If you tell me, oh, you're just taking it too hard. I wouldn't worry about the comments. You get your, you get off your ass. You go spend money on thousands of dollars of fucking video equipment. You take your time out of the day and film all the shit that I film and not get paid for it and not charge the customer for it and all this other shit. Because if I wasn't making videos, all this fucking shit in my shop would be done. And don't sit there and say, oh, you're filming their car and charging them while you're doing it, aren't you? Yeah, YouTube is what you make of it, not me. All right, what you make of it. Because from now on, what you make of it on my shit is going to be judged and you will be banned. And I don't give a fuck if you subscribe to me <coughs> or if you leave a comment or if you thumbs me up or thumbs me down. I don't give a shit because there's that little small crowd of people out there that want to learn how to do shit, and I'm the guy showing them how. I had a guy email me. No, he was on Facebook. He asked me a question on Facebook. He said, why is my paint peeling up? I just put epoxy primer on it. The only time paint peels on epoxy primer is if you take 2K primer and put reducer in it. Because nowadays... People are telling you, you don't need to buy epoxy primer. All you got to do is add 10% reducer to your, uh, your 2K primer, and, that, and it's good. Or your epoxy primer, you went and added some reducer to that, and you added way too much. I'm going to go ahead and say it again, like I've said for 15 fucking years, or 13 years, epoxy primer is not 2K primer. 2K primer is not epoxy primer. If you want to use epoxy primer, then buy epoxy primer. It's that easy. Focus on the work. See, I like info like this. Okay, thank you, Mike. Make it what you got to make it out of, Mike. I'm in Tijuana, huh? I mean Los Angeles. I've been to Tijuana. Me and my buddy Junior got ran out of there. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you a little story about Tijuana. Me and my, and I got a video on this. Uh, I got two videos of me and my buddy, my ex-friend Junior down in Tijuana. Um, and what happened is we were down there visiting my son and we heard that if you go to Tijuana that you can get Volkswagen parts dirt cheap. Well, that was a lie. Actually, they cost more money. So we went all the way down to the border, went into Tijuana to go to this specific Volkswagen store that had vintage Volkswagen parts. When I was restoring my uh, 64 Volkswagen, 63 or 64 bug. So we go all the way down there. And of course, Junior, he talks Mexican. He's a Mexican, American Mexican, he talks Spanish. So I told him, I said, let's get a taxi driver and we'll give him 75 bucks or 80 bucks and have him drive us around town and show us the whole place. So Junior kind of interviews two or three of these guys and he finds one that's really honest. And he, we take him out. I mean, he takes us all over. Well, then he ends up deciding after about an hour, he goes, I'm gonna take you down to where the prostitutes are and the bad part of town. You don't ever wanna go there. You stay away from that, but we're gonna drive through there. So I had my video camera rolling and it was this one right here, this little camera here or something like it, similar to it. And I'm holding, he goes, don't let them see your camera. If you're gonna take pictures, hide it. So I'm holding the camera like this, like this right here. And I'm in the back seat, okay? Junior's in the front, I'm in the back and I'm holding my camera like this right here and it's recording. Do you see how I'm holding that? So anyway, he's going kind of slow. And the first thing we see are these guys that walk out and they're pointing at us like this. Now, I don't know why they were pointing at us. 
But he said, no, 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 don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. We go down. We go down. And then all of a sudden we see all these girls and we're not talking girls. We're talking little kids. We're talking little children walking out of the buildings and standing there like this, like they are, uh, what can we say, um, underage prostitutes. We go around the corner. I'm making it short. There was a lot more that happened than that. We go around the corner and all of a sudden, this old lady starts hollering and screaming and, going, and pointing at us like that. And here comes the federal rallies. The police, uh, okay? They, they come out of the building like cockroaches. And we're kind of stuck in traffic. All right? And here they come. They're running at our car. They, the guy said, oh, my God, they saw your camera. They saw your camera. And he says, hold on. He floored the motherfucker. He zips through all the traffic, almost hit three or four people, hauls ass about a mile and a half away, dropped us off at the uh, entry point and said, get the fuck out of here right now. We barely got out of there with our fucking lives. Because if they would have caught us, I asked him, I said, what if they would have caught us? And he said, if they catch you, they will take your cameras. They will take all your valuables. They will take all the money that you got on you. And then they will fucking leave you in jail for 90 days, maybe longer. So, yeah, that was my adventure down in Tijuana. Uh, have a joint and calm down, man. You're bipolar. Okay, uh, that comment I don't like. First of all, I am not bipolar. I'm very fucking smart. And another thing, I don't smoke dope. So, uh, Nathan Campbell, you can go fuck off. I'm not going to block you this time, but I know your name now and I will remember it because I got a fucking, uh, uh, what is that called up here? I forgot. Oh my God. Oh, that's right. It's called a brain. I got a brain like an elephant. Oh, I'm sorry. A memory. Yeah. So yeah, keep, keep talking, Nathan. Anyway, um, that's all I had to say today. I uh, went ahead and uh, re-edited the video. I will be reposting it for the people that want to know exactly how I fixed the problem that we had. And in the beginning, I will go ahead and make a brief description of why I took that section out. It will be very brief because I know there will be dipshits and assholes on there that will um, say, oh, well, he did do that. Look, he took the section out of the video. Oh, so he is a liar. He is a cheat. He is a scumbag. So I'll go ahead and and justify myself because that's what I need to do on YouTube. Being a YouTube creator, you have to make sure you justify yourself. Because if I was one of these creators that got millions and millions of hits, I probably wouldn't give a shit because the ones that get the millions and millions of hits and hundreds and thousands don't even read the comments. You don't even know where they live. You don't even talk to them. They don't want to talk to you. They don't give a shit about you. All you are to them is somebody that's fucking feeding them money. I don't ask you for nothing. <clears throat> I just saw somebody leave a comment here. Uh, where was that? Um, if you talk this way to a psychiatrist, you would be committed immediately. Fuck psychiatry. The only thing a psychiatry there is for is to give you a prescription of a drug that is going to ruin your internal organs and possibly kill you. If you need to talk to somebody, find a guy like me and talk to me. I'll bitch slap you and wake you up and make sure you're walking a straight fucking line. Life is real. Deal with it like a man. That's what uh, uh, Bill told Nathan. Nathan says section 511. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't give a shit. Smoke weed, mofo. Yeah. You go smoke some weed. Go spend your money on it. Um, this is Pete. My friend Pete. Your friend Pete. I got to go. I got work to do in my shop. And you're not going to know what it is. Because I make a living. I work for a living. I get up every morning, bright and early. I watch the sunrise. I believe in Jesus Christ. You don't. All you do is hate and destruct and sleep like uh, what, till three or four in the afternoon down in mommy's basement. 
Speaking of mommy's basement, I was just thinking of somebody yesterday that literally lives in their basement and he's like my age. And I can't believe, I don't remember who it was. I saw a fucking ad. I saw this picture of grandma and grandpa walking down the street. It was a cartoon picture and they were pushing a baby carriage. And you know who's in the baby carriage? Some old hippie ass fucking guy sucking his thumb like a 40 year old. Yeah, that's the way the world is today. And you know what caused all this? You know what fucking did it all? Right there. That. That machine right there. That machine right there. All right? This machine that I'm talking to and this fucking thing right here. That is what made the world the way it is today. And anybody that believes in Elon Musk is a dumbass. I don't trust him. I don't like him. There's something about that fucking guy that is going to come out in the future. And let me tell you something. You better watch your ass with Elon Musk. Elon Musk. There's something going on with that guy. I don't know what the fuck it is. But I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to figure it out because that's what I do. I figure shit out. All right. Crazy Wicked Cousin says, I, I'm in recovery from my cancers. I have a rough time getting started nowadays. And I hate it. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, Crazy Customs. Um, all right, there's a guy right there. Let's go ahead. And, well, let's diabolically uh, dissect his comment. So if a hater came on here, a hater would probably say, you're a liar. You ain't never had cancer. You're just trying to make people feel sorry for you. You ain't got shit going on, liar. That's what they would say. Just to take them off and piss them off and, and get them going. Does he have cancer? To be honest with you, I don't know if he does or not, but I'm not going to, to disregard what he says. I'm not going to be hateful to him and say, so what? I don't give a fuck. I got my own problems. But do you see what this has done? Do you see that? It has ruined society. It has ruined people. It has ruined everything. Uh, Mike says the world is what it is. Yeah, well, with attitudes like that, Mike, yeah, it is. I'm sorry that I like to stick up for my fucking shit, Mike. Because when you leave a comment or when you, when you disregard stuff going on around you, and you say, oh, well, the world's what it is. Who cares? Who cares? That's exactly what they want you to do. They. Who are they? I don't know. But they want you to act like that. So keep up the attitude and I'll keep mine up and you can tell me that I'm going to have a stroke and I'm going to die and you need to calm down. Oh my God, this guy's insane. He needs to see a psychiatrist. Yeah. Yeah, you keep saying that. Go ahead. Go watch your fucking cartoons, buddy. No social skills hiding behind screens. Yeah, we know that. Nobody wants to dig a ditch anymore. I dig my own ditches. I've actually been offered by a couple neighbors around here. Hey, you want me to bring my backhoe over and I can dig all those holes out for your trees like, you know, right now? No, I don't. I don't want you to. I actually had one of the neighbors come over and do that for me and it didn't work out. I would rather go out there and do my own manual labor and do it myself because it's given me credibility of I'm not going to be a lazy piece of shit. I'm going to do what I want to do and I am going to do it now. When you retire, most of the people that retire are lazy asses because they get it in their head. Well, I retired. I don't need to work anymore. I'm going to sit here and watch TV all day. I'm going to go walk around outside my yard and smoke a cigarette. Well, you know what? That's how it is. We got Nathan Campbell here that says, I'm, I'm lazy. Um, now, I'm not going to. Okay. Are you trying to repent? You're lazy. Okay, Nathan. Let's see. He says moonshine. Okay. So, Nathan, I'm, I'm going back in the car 420. Keep it up, Nathan. You haven't done anything wrong yet, but, okay, I'm watching you too, pal. Live your own life. The world uh, lives rent-free in Pete's head. You see what I'm talking about here? Do you see? Do you see the idiots that we have leaving comments? 
Uh, it, it, it's worthless. It's worthless because you all think this is a funny fucking deal and you don't give a shit. I bet you more than half of you guys out there are on disability, aren't you? I'll bet you more than half of you are sitting on your ass getting free money living on the doll like like uh, um, uh, Australia would say. Because I don't know that. All I know you buy is Moshe Glamazzi, um, Just Robert, Nathan Campbell, um, Hillbilly Customs. Uh, you know, I don't know you. I just know you by that right there. Now, if I've talked to you on the phone, I know you by your first name. A lot of people that call me and want to talk to me, and let me show you something here, okay? Let me go ahead and show you this while we're on the subject of calling. Um, let me go ahead and show you this. So here's my, this is a list of people on my shop phone. This is my shop phone. And I want you to look at this list as I scroll it. <clears throat> And you know who all these people are? Do you know who all these people are on here? All right, this is who they are. Um, one of them is called, uh, oh, let's see, where's one at? Brian Fargo, North Dakota. Bruce, 1961 Corvette. Um, Cheryl, uh, let's see, Chris, knee, uh, Chris in New Hampshire. Um, Dan, Toto, Dan, it was actually a musician and singer in the band Toto. Um, we got Danny Roach, um, David Loist, uh, Daytona Jim, uh, Dean, Black Diamond. And yeah, so I can go on and on. But uh, so I get a lot of people that call me, but I only know them by their first name. I've never seen them in my life. I've actually asked a couple of these people to text me. We do live in this era. You can text me. Um, I've asked them to text me pictures so I know I'm talking to them, and they won't do that. So all I know them by is a first name and a phone call and a voice and someone that leaves um, comments. Wow, that's a good way to have friends, isn't it? Isn't it? That's a good way to live the rest of our life, having friends through social media. Who came up with that word, social media? Where did it come from? Well, it all started with... Uh, um, not, it wasn't Facebook. It was the one before that. And I forgot the name of it because I was never on it. I don't know what it was. I used to MIG weld horse corrals with galvanized tubing when I was 18 years old back in 1980, fresh out of high school. Well, that's good, Frank. Sounds like you used to work like I did. I lost my shop because of my cancer's deal. I am in recovery. I ask nothing from anyone. Just... Uh, was trying to say, I still try every day to work. And that's what I'm saying, okay? We all ought to say a prayer for crazy, wicked customs. What clear should you, uh, should you use over an acrylic-based bumper? Okay, what do you mean acrylic-based? Are you talking enamel? Are you talking uh, alkyde acrylic enamel? Are you talking acrylic what? Yeah. You need to finish out the sentence and let everybody know what you are actually using instead of acrylic base. If you're using single stage paint, why the fuck would you clear coat it? I'm in West Virginia, guy, Pete. I've talked to you many times on the phone. There's a good example. Hillbilly Custom. He says he's talked to me many times on the phone. Let's go through here and see if he's on my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know when I talked to him last, but we're going to go ahead and look for somebody that's in West Virginia. Um, I don't see anybody here. I don't see anybody. So I don't even know your name. So if you call and talk to me, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have. I got to go. There you go. Jay Milano and Mike says uh, MySpace. Yeah. There's the creators. Oh, and then there was another one called, um, what was that other one? Virtual reality. Virtual reality. That was another uh, hot place to go, if I remember right. What material are Mitsubishi 90s bumpers are made of? What kind of cream plastic? I don't know what they made in 1990. I don't know. It's a pla They're made out of plastic. Take some rubbing alcohol, wash the plastic off, get the impurities out, and use some uh, bulldog on it, some bulldog... Um, 
crap and then paint it. I don't know what kind of plastic. It's made out of plastic. Who knows? Yeah, chat room. There you go. No noise. You got it right. Chat room. Um, why wouldn't you put a uh, two-pack two two clear over single-pack base? Why would you want to? Are you arguing with me, buddy? Why would you want to? Okay, if you're using a single-stage paint that has a hardener in it, why would you even want to put clear on top of it? It's already shiny. Why? If you're going to go to that extreme and spend all that money, get base coat and put clear on it. All right? You're doing work that you don't need to do. That's why, Nate. Seventy-nine Bronco. Uh, yeah. All right. I, I'm getting a little bored on talking about all this shit, so I'm gonna let everybody go. And uh, it's just pure hate, and it sucks. Yeah, you're right, Don. Donald Baker. At least you're using your real name. Uh, loud pipes save lives. MySpace. Bill Palmer. You hit the nail on the head, Pete. No, actually, somebody put a nail in and hit me on the head by getting me pissed off. So. This is what I got to say, all right? You want to leave your bullshit comments? They're going to be deleted. When I come across comments that are hate comments or comments that have nothing to do with nothing except violent bullshit, all right? When I say violent, I'm talking about accusations that you want to make up. They will be deleted and you will be blocked. If that's what I got to do to continue to make videos, that's what I'll do. We'll see you later. Take it easy. I got to fucking go. And I hope you have a great fucking day too.